determining the total voltage and the voltage drop across each capacitor in a series circuit. In the following circuit, what is the value of V1? Okay, so we're going to break this down into the different steps. The first step is going to be determining the equivalent capacitance. Okay, and we get that from the equation 1 over Cs equals 1 over C1 plus um, 1 over C2. Okay, once we know that, we can move on to the second step. The second step is going to be determining from the capacitance the charge. Okay, we're looking for the, the total charge here. And we know that Q total is going to be equal to the capacitance of each of the capacitors, that they're all going to be the same. And then finally, we know the voltage won't be the same, okay? V total, okay, that equals the um, voltage of one capacitor plus the voltage across another capacitor, since this is a series circuit. So to determine that, we're going to rearrange this equation here, and we'll have V equals Q divided by C. Okay, so the first step, determining the equivalent capacitance. We already conveniently did this two, uh, two problems ago in the first skill. So CS is going to be equal to 1.33 farads. Okay, we have that information. Next, we're going to use this information and we're going to go ahead and plug this into this equation here. And well, we already did that in the previous problem, the second skill. And we had a Q value of Q equals 106 coulombs. And that's the same for both of the capacitors. Okay, now we have our information. So we know CS to be 1.33 and the charge to be 106. Okay, now, we don't really care about the equivalent capacitance now. We care about this capacitor because we're trying to find the voltage across this specific capacitor. So our voltage formula is going to be 106, because that's the same, divided by 4 farads, because that's the capacitance of this capacitor. And then we get a value of 26.5 volts as our final answer.